hello guys and welcome back to my channel today i am making a very simple and deliciously healthy vegetable stew and um, as you can see now we're cutting up our tomatoes getting it all diced up the amount of tomatoes you use depends on the quantity of the stew you're making so um, I'm not making that much, that's why I'm using this amount of tomatoes. Next we cut up our onions, as you can see I'm using one whole um, red onions medium sized red onion and i'll go ahead and slice it all up so this is the whole onion sliced we'll go ahead and put on um, our hot oil in the pan or in the pot now i'm using canola oil and when the oil heats up, you add your onions and fry it till it turns brownish. And then I'll add my tomatoes that I already diced. Mix it up with the tomato with the onions. Get everything all mixed up very well with the oil also and then we go ahead and cover it and let it cook for some time and now this is the vegetable that I'll be using we call it green in Nigeria I don't really know what this is called in English so if you uh, I don't know the English name or the botanical name for this so if you know just leave it in the comment below and uh, um, if you guys have any other name for it in your language or where you came from just let us know so we'll pick it off the stick or off the stem that is the seed we don't like that or we don't need that we go ahead and cut it off and when you get to the end tender part of it you cut both the stem and the remaining vegetable off We keep checking on our tomatoes and keep stirring it to make sure it doesn't stick to the pot and burn. We add our seasonings, garlic powder. That's optional, by the way. Crayfish also optional. Some people don't like crayfish in their stew, but I like to add it because I don't cook my stews with either beef or fish or anything. So just for extra extra flavor, I like to add a little tiny crayfish. And then I add a teensy bit bit of water just to cook the seasonings that I just added um, just let the stew soak it all up some people don't like adding water to their vegetable stews or vegetable soup but uh, for this stew I like to add a little bit of water just to fry it or cook it together with all the ingredients that I just added so we'll cover it up and let it cook for about 15 minutes and while it does we go ahead and wash our vegetables I like to add salt when I'm washing my fresh vegetables so it kills um, any living organism that is still left or stuck on the vegetable anywhere and I like to also wash it twice you can wash it more than twice but you really need to wash your vegetables at least twice with cool water and lots of water
and then with that I'll we cut up the vegetables this is how I cut my vegetables when I have a lot of them so I don't pick them up one by one I just gather them in a bunch and cut them in the middle When I'm done cutting it and I fold them all together and just run my knife through it just to make sure everything is all cut and nothing is um, remaining. Now we go ahead and check on our tomatoes or our stew that is cooking in the pot. We keep stirring it to make sure it doesn't stick. You also need to use a very good quality pot for this so you don't have to worry about burning. I go ahead and add the vegetables. It's almost done. That is it. It doesn't take that much time. Once you add the vegetable, it's done. After adding the vegetables, I cover it up and let it cook for if just a few minutes just to help the vegetables um, soften up. And once that happens, I mix everything all up together. And there you have it guys, um, my family's favorite vegetable stew. I hope you guys enjoyed it, um, leave a comment below, positive, hopefully, and uh, let me know if you like this and if you will try it and thank you very much for watching.